Hey everyone, it's Anthony Allen Ramos. Okay, happy Pride to you all. Guess what? Golden Voice is putting on the first ever Palomino Festival. That's Saturday, July 9th at the Brookside at the Rose Bowl in Pasadena. That's in California. Festival is highlighting some of the most boundary pushing artists and country rock, folk, and more. We're talking Casey Musgraves, Willie Nelson, and they're also featuring some amazing LGBTQ artists who are making major strides to make country music a more inclusive place. Today, I'm so excited to be chatting with a friend of mine, Jamie Wyatt, who's going to be taking the stage at Palomino on July 9th. How is my favorite rattlesnake girl? Oh, thank you, Anthony. I'm doing so well. I'm so excited for this show, this Palomino Festival is like, you know, everybody's buzzing about it for a reason. It's, it's a pretty amazing lineup. It is. And, you know, I love, you know, I think the moment that we're in in country music right now with you, artists like Lily Rose, obviously TJ Osborne, Brooke Eden, so many others who are out and proud artists that are, you know, just doing amazing stuff in country music and in Nashville. And I think it's great that this festival lineup has you and some other uh, LGBTQ artists, Orville Pax involved, Amethyst yes. Kaya. What is yeah. it feel like to be kind of a part of this new festival that is saying, you know what, we welcome all? You know what, it's really affirming. It's affirming that this is the future and that um, the country music genre is is opening its doors and opening its arms i i love that it's done uh and you know like typical fashion it's done from the alternative side of things so on the americana or alt country side of things and uh moving into the mainstream of pop country as you mentioned lily rose and and whatnot um yeah so it, it's pretty exciting and it's just proof it's just proof that like you know We've always been here. We've always been queer. We've always, <laughs> we've always had all different kinds of interests. It turns out, uh, turns out we're not, you know, totally just stereotypical. Right. So it's it's just really exciting for me, and it just it makes my heart full. I love that, and I remember I was just actually chatting with Lily Rose in New York, and I remember very vividly you know, growing up, loving country music and being like, oh, I'm not supposed to like this. There's not, this isn't a place for me. Like, and that's right. clearly not the case. I mean, did you ever think that like, you know what? Like, I'm not going to be accepted in this, in this space. And now look, things are changing. Oh, most, most definitely. I had that feeling um, that I would just, well, I loved country music so much that I chose to stay in the closet, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And then, you know, everything blew up around me and I realized I couldn't be a person and be a healthy person in, in this world if I wasn't out and if I didn't learn how to be proud. That's so true. And I think it's so important to remember that, especially during Pride Month and beyond. And I know National Pride um, is coming shortly before this event in July. Are, I, tell me about National Pride, because I think TJ is going to be involved, which is very exciting. Obviously, TJ Osborne from Brothers Osborne is who I'm talking about. Yes, yes. Well, and uh, the one and only Tanya Tucker. Yeah. Is so, I mean, that's incredible for her to be such an ally like that is it's a big statement i mean she really has the traditional real deal country audience and mm -hmm. it's really cool that uh she's leading the way you know absolutely and so i thinking back your album neon cross dropped in 2020 the world was yeah. such a different place um i still love that album and i'm sure you're still loving being on the road playing for your fans but are you What's, are we, are we working on the next project? Where are we at? Yes, working on the next project. I can't, I can't uh, reveal any <laughs> no brand reveals today, but there will be. And I'm That's really exciting. excited. Yeah, yeah, the world is open now and um, they received Neon Cross with open arms and that was so, um, you know, affirming because we were in the pandemic. That's when we met in the pandemic yeah. and, and i knew people were excited from social media about the album but then the last year and a half i've been able to go out and play for people and and it's been a big surprise like oh we we reached some people so yeah it's been huh. really cool and you know people from all walks of life um 
you know, I've had some really amazing experiences, queer people coming from small towns, driving to the big city and confiding in me that, you know, they're maybe not totally out at home, but they feel safe at my show. That is the ultimate compliment. And I always, I was just saying pride really is, it's a time to celebrate who you are. But I also said, it's a time to support and reach out a hand to those that maybe aren't there yet, that are like still struggling and maybe haven't gotten to that self-acceptance point. And I love that you're doing that through your music and your shows. People just feel like they can come and be exactly who they are. Yes. No, it's, it's, that's the ultimate compliment. I couldn't ask for anything else. It's just that that's why, you know, that's why I write. That's why I play. That's why, you know, I eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches on the road. (laughs) Absolutely. And I think, what was it like? I imagine, you know, just thinking of the way this all happened, the album was so well received. And then you get told by the world, you cannot go anywhere. You cannot perform for your fans. Eventually that changed. Do you remember what it was like when you finally got to go out on the road and be like, see that response from people in person? You know, it's so weird. It's been actually such a a slow process that there were some shows in the late, late, late part of 2020 when things were, when, um, or if it, yeah, there might've been some select, like really small yeah. shows that we did, um, and outdoor shows, but, uh, and, and that was amazing in itself, but it was still really small and, and everything was still weird. But then in 2021, after the vaccine and everything, um, we started doing like real shows and it, it was, it was amazing. I am so grateful for, uh, the ability to get to play and write for a living, it, that affirmed it too, though. I mean, if, if you weren't grateful as an artist before 2020, you are now, you are now. So true. And I think, I can only imagine, because I think this festival is so unique. Just a reminder, everyone, it's called the Palomino Festival. If you go to palominopasadena.com, you can figure out which ticket package is right for you, find out the full lineup, but we are talking Jamie Wyatt is performing, Casey Musgraves, Willie Nelson and Family, Old Crow Medicine Show, Turnpike Troubadours, Orville Peck, Amethyst Kaya. There's so many others that I'm not remembering, but it's going to be, I think, you know, this is the first one and California just is such a diverse place. Like how cool do you think this festival is going to be for people? Um, I mean, the lineup is is pretty insane to begin with, but it's also not in, it's not in the desert, like stagecoach and all that. Yeah. So I think that people are really excited about that. I think it's going to be jam packed and, and really like the place to be. Yeah. Um, I mean, I just want to see, I just want to see Casey Musgraves ride in on a horse. <laughs> no. On that high horse, right? <laughs> <All> right. <laughs> That's right. And um and obviously, like people like Willie Nelson, Jason Isbell, um, Orville Peck, uh, who has a brand new record. Like it's it's just it's crazy that they got that many big names, and um, I'm super excited about it. It's and in California, it's so rad. Wow. Like you know, just picture every every amazing Western film made in California, and it's just like it's really special. I, I so. love that. And I know you've gotten to know Orville a little bit. How, what's it like to be, you know, in this moment together with Orville and just saying, you know, well, we are LGBTQ artists and we are still going to make and make great country music. Yes, absolutely. I mean, I, I have Orville to thank for the courage to, you know, giving me the courage to come out. I, I was, I was making, you know, country records and uh, and I was terrified that that I couldn't be myself and uh, have any sort of career so hi- him being himself and out and proud like that's it just I I am uh, so grateful for him and and there's so many others TJ Osborne and mm-hmm. and uh, Lily Rose and people you know being themselves and being true to country music um It's really cool. Yeah. I love that. Oh my gosh. I'm having a flashback. Last Pride, I was in Nashville in June for a couple of days and I, and it was at the Omni in downtown and uh, Orville was in the lobby and I like totally got too starstruck and like froze. And I was going to say something and then I didn't and he was gone. And I was like, well, you know what? Eventually. (laughs) Oh yeah. He's like the Lone Ranger too. So you got to catch him, that mystique. We did a shoot together for um, Eric Ellington, who's a, a professional skater. Um, 
made this amazing shoe line called Human Recreational Services. And so we did a shoot together in Nashville and it was super fun. And the shoot is just like so decadent. It was some yeah. dive. And uh, my friend Magda Wosinska shot it. Um, so we did a shoot together and we had a lot of fun. Um, you know, obviously the, the suit game was on point. I love that. <laughs> I love that. And so speaking of, hold on. I finally purchased a hat. I want to see what you think. Oh my God. Is this, oh God, that looks good. Like? I'm glad you went with that bone. Oh, that shape yeah. is fantastic. But I, yeah, I'm, in, I'm into it. I, you know, it's like the, my first purchase and I'm ready for, ready for more, you know, to get a new one for Palomino. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. I'm rocking a new Stetson that they made for me. And um, it's, it's really just, it's life changing. <laughs> I love that. I know I need a Stetson. That's next up on the list. Um, but Jamie, yeah. I'm so excited. So just a reminder, July 9th, it's coming up right after Pride, everyone. Tickets are available right now. You can go to palominopasadena.com. It's going to be an all-day fest. I think it starts at noon. Music is going to be going all day and all night. It's at the Rose Bowl. We're talking Jamie Wyatt, Casey Musgraves, Orville Peck, Willie Nelson and Friends, and so many others. But uh, yeah, stay tuned to our social all uh, month long. We're going to be hopefully chatting with a bunch of these very progressive and uh, diverse artists just like Jamie. So, uh, but Jamie, it's great to see you and I'll see you in a couple of weeks, I guess. Thank you so much, Anthony. It was wonderful to see you. I'm so excited. Happy Pride. Happy Pride. <laughs>